What's happening with fellow geeks in the internet? I'm Tian coming at you with another video. This time I'm doing my Fallout for Man Out of Time Part 2 cosplay series video. So, uh, this is actually a video on how I'm going to be making my melee weapons for my cosplay. Originally, I was just going to get like a plastic machete or a similar sort of machete, but then after going down to Bunnings, which is our local um, like hardware store, uh, I got some PVC pipe. Um, so I got a couple like this, and I am going to be redoing Robin's bow staff. I actually got two of these, uh, I think they're about a meter long, and they're about 15 millimeters wide. And I got two of these, and decided that I wanted to make a couple of melee weapons from scratch, using PVC pipe as a base. Uh, so, I used one of them, and I what I did was I actually made a tire iron from Fallout 4. You'll see how I did this, and I decided to make um, this tire iron. Now, I had some leftover PVC pipe from when I made this. It, this was about a 20 millimeter um, PVC pipe. I think I bought two or three when I originally made this guy. So what I did was I took a, a shorten this as I wanted to take one of these pieces, and then I also bought a couple of extra pieces and made another melee weapon, which was a lead pipe. So I made two melee weapons for this cosplay, and that's what this video is about, showing you how I made these. So, um, but also please stick around to the very end where I talk about what are some of my upcoming videos that's hopefully coming out in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to try and get at least one or two videos out over the next couple of weeks based around cosplay. Without any further ado, I'm going to show you how I made these weapons. Primus or dry, I just put them together. What I did do, which was kind of off camera, was this bit was a bit too long in the end. What I did was, because I wanted to shorten this a little bit, I cut off a little bit up here, and now I just use that bit in there just to make it a little bit shorter. Uh, so that way, you know, it's not as long. And I also found an end cap, which I spray painted as well last night. So now that the primers all done, onto the silver. Um, design change, so I'm gonna be using these. I bought another coupler and just cut off another bit of pipe, which will go on a tire iron like so. Which I think will look better, and that way if I want to make a current axe in the future, I can stick it on easier. So I'll do, prime this, then I'll paint that metallic silver. So here they are, uh, paint's all dry now. Uh, yeah, looking really good. There are a couple of scratches as it was stuck down onto the base, but I do think that these look really good um, since they are supposed to be found in the wasteland and you know, which is basically an apocalypse or whatever. 
Uh, so I think these small scratches and stuff really do work. But yeah, so that's the lead pipe and here's the tire iron, which is all pulled together. That's, that's a great scratch right there. So next up, we'll be, I'll be using some black shoe polish. Hopefully it will uh, dull down a bit of this metallic silver. But it's just weathering with some shoe polish and then I'll be using some other sort of paints to make it look a little bit rusted and all dirty and you know, like it really has been throughout the wasteland. So yeah, but I'm just loving how it's looking so far. But yes, that's basically them. Now onto the weathering. Okay, so the shoe polish is all done. Um, they're looking really cool at the moment. So here's the lead pipe. So as you saw, I, you know, put on all the shoe polish, then dabbed it off or wiped it off. Just, you know, just to make it look all weathered and natural and it's like not clean at all. So, here's the other side. And this was my first time using shoe polish too, so. Yeah, I'm definitely going to use this again for when I weather up the 19, M1911 pistol. Shout out to Cosplay Chris for, um, you know, giving me the inspiration to use it. Otherwise, just, I would have done this with just plain black paint. So, um, I don't think it would have looked as good with plain black paint. I don't think I'll do too much painting now. I may just dry brush a little bit of brown or copper or something just around just to make it look like, you know, it's starting to rust. It's done to get dirty and then the lead pipe I'm thinking of adding some blood not sure yet so let's head back inside and do some dry brush. Yeah so when I said I was gonna use some copper but then I tried some metallic brown as well as a little bit of copper and I wasn't too happy with the look. So what I did so far is I actually went over up here I think you can kind of see it there some of the accidental you know slips and stuff but um what I decided to do flat brown which is what I've done here and just weather it so it looks like you know it's starting to get a little bit dirty and afterwards i'm going to dry brush a little bit of red brown which is a little bit lighter um on top of that as well just to you know make it look like i don't know a little bit of rust kind of mixed with just weathering so yeah so that's what i think i'm going to be doing so without any further ado let's go ahead and finish up weathering these pieces
guys for watching this video. Um, let me know what you think down below. I love how these turned out. Um, this was actually my second time actually making something out of PVC pipe. The first time, of course, was my Arkham City Robin Bow stuff. And so, yeah, this was really fun. Um, yeah, it was first time using shoe polish. Thank you, Cosplay Chris, for the inspiration to do that for the weathering. It worked like a dream. The um, shoe polish, it, it dulled down the silver a little bit and just really made the weapons pop. So I'm really happy with how they turned out. Speaking of the Robin Bow stuff, so of course this was my old one and I've shortened it down a little bit, but um, I'm not really wanting to... I, I want to make a new one. So... What I've done, as I said at the beginning, I bought another one of these. So this is actually the leftover from the tie iron. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to cut it down a little bit, probably take about, I don't know, that much off, maybe. More or less, we'll find out when I do that. And then I've also bought two couplers, which will just stick on the ends like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half, maybe a little bit under a half, like I cut it in half, then see how it looks, maybe scale it down a bit, but you know, roughly half. And then I'm gonna, you know, use these as bow staff. So I'll stick in like so, and then I'll have my bow staff. Um, I also bought end caps, which I'll also um, use. So basically I'll be making a three piece Robin bow staff, so that way when I do go to conventions, I can, um, you know, pull it apart and have it in my suitcase or whatever, um, you know, all nice and tight, all nice and compact, whereas last year, what was Comic Con, the other bow staff, it was just sitting in the back of the car like so, and it was very awkward, and I was very worried that it would break. So this way, I'd be able to pull it apart and, you know, travel safely with them in my bag. Like I said at the beginning, I am going to be doing some more videos. Uh, video I will be doing is how I make the bow staff. So that'll be one video um, to wrap up the Robin cosplay and I also have another video after that which I'm not going to really go into now as it's kind of a spin-off slash surprise on what it is. The next Fallout 4 Man Out of Time cosplay video will be weathering the pants which I've already kind of started but it'll be like, you know, I think spray painted brown or doing something. I've got to work out how to weather tactical pants to make it look dirty and grimy. So I'll be doing that. In that video, I'll also probably touch up the bag a little bit, spray a little bit of brown into it so it looks like there's dirt or mud that's been dried up in the bag. Um, the gun holster a little bit and, you know, a couple of other bits like the scarf and the goggles, just weathering some of the actual, uh, you know, clothing. And hopefully for that video, I'll have the jumpsuit. If not, it'll have its own video, the two-piece uh, jumpsuit. I'm thinking I may do its own video, so that way I can do the unboxing of it, and then I can weather the jacket part as well, because like I said, it is a two-piece part. I'm hoping that I do get the motorcycle armor in soon. If not, then I'll have to wear my Robin shin pads, but yeah, I'm really hoping to get the armor in. Uh, another, way, another video I'll be doing is for the firearms. My new M1911 Colt pistol came in the other day, as well as the toy M16, which I will be weathering. M16, I probably won't be doing too much painting, more just dry brushing and weathering, and I don't know what else I'll be doing. But um, the M1911, I will be using metallic silver and then weathering it. Similar to this, but without all the brown and reds, obviously. But um, yeah, so that's another video coming soon. In terms of the Pip Boy, I've actually uh, commissioned uh, Luke101 um, for it. He actually does you know, commission work, so I did actually commission one. I'm not going to be able to get one on time for Supernova, but that's alright. Hopefully I'll be able to do a photo shoot in the wetlands behind my house or something like that uh, with the Pip-Boy sometime after Supernova, so it will be coming and I'll definitely have it for PAX because I am planning on doing um, this cosplay or just the full-on jumpsuit uh, for PAX, so I will be getting a Pip-Boy, but not for Supernova. It won't be here in time. So other than that, thank you guys for watching. Again, let me know what you think of these weapons down below. I had a blast making these. Um, I definitely will be using PVC pipe again for other weapons, hopefully sometime down the line. But yeah, this was just really fun to do, and it was a great way to kill some time. And yeah, again, I would have waited till after I did the suit, but I was just way too excited after getting the PVC pipe. It had to start these straight away. 
Make sure to check out my Tea Gun Cosplays Instagram where you, you would have been able to see some of the behind the scenes photos and the work in progress photos on there before this video. Um, also, again, a shout out to Luke101 and Cosplay Chris. Links to their channels down below. Um, so, yeah, I'm really grateful for their videos and um, again for Luke for designing the Pip Boy for me. So, yeah. <laughs> Other than that, um, more videos hopefully coming soon. It is kind of in the con crunch. It's like in a few weeks now, Supernova. So I gotta try and get the rest of this uh, cosplay together. So yeah, so thanks again and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, see ya.